Hey YouTube, this is Pamela and this is Craft and Commentary. How's everybody doing tonight? Okay, uh, I have uh, another project here and uh, all of a sudden you're seeing lots of YouTube videos from me, Pamela, and uh, uh, it's all about the jelly plate lady, ladies and, and gents. Um, it, it, it's I have just discovered Jelly Plate. Okay, G E L L I. Go to Jelly Arts on the YouTube uh, on the YouTubes uh, on uh, the YouTube channel Jelly Arts. Do a search, watch the videos. If you're not familiar with this, uh, you know. Go straight to Jelly Arts. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just go there now and watch those videos. It's fascinating. And it's a new thing under the sun uh, that is um, just delightful. Just delightful. Okay, let's get into it. All right, well, I'm blabbing away. This is um, my first attempt, which, if I may say so, I have a little bit of beginner's luck here. I don't know what happened, but uh, I had great, great success from the very beginning, and I was mentioning in another video how I wasn't feeling well, and, uh, you know, uh, the art is very from the heart. It's it's very uh, e emotional experience, and if you're not in a good mood, if you're feeling not well, uh, your art is not going to be good because it, it's so... Um, it's like a, a, a um, you know, in sports, same thing. I mean, it, it, there's a, an element there a, 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 that, that's not explainable. And, uh, but I had some very good um, experiences with my initial, initial uh, uh, work on Jelly Plate and just using all the things. What I had just done before I made these little prints was just watch a ton of videos of all you wonderful, lovely ladies out there. God bless you all, um, you know, to, um, to share your time and effort and to show what you have done in the way of your artwork. It's so inspiring. I have been immensely inspired. And uh, as I'm talking, you know, I'm doing a little flip here. And uh, as you can see, especially some of these in the beginning, um, the, the color combination is just fantastic. And basically what I did was I had everything at my fingertips. And I think that's a big, um, that's something important when you're doing art. It's probably like when you uh, do, when you're, a cook in a very fast-paced uh, kitchen, you know, and you're, you know, working for money, uh, you know, for a restaurant, and uh, there's something called, I believe it's pronounced missing plat, and it's basically getting all your stuff in front of you that you're going to need, you're, you're just your perfect knife, your perfect um, uh, mat, you know, cutting board, da da da, your, your perfect, uh, all your your utensils and all the things that you use and they're all in front of you and they are very readily accessible. Same thing goes for your paints, your stencils, your stamps, your paper, your brayer, your um, uh, well those are the main things but have a good workspace, a good amount of actual physical uh, table space just, just don't be encumbered in any way because you, it's a lot of, it's, it's, yeah, the, the, you know, these, these paints are all wet and messy and, uh, so you, oh, uh, paper towels, obviously, just, just have it all ready to go so that you're, you, you don't have to worry about the physical, any kind of physical limitations. Uh, because you just want to, you just want to let it all hang out, and that's what art is all about. And um, it, art is the ultimate. I think, obviously, it's one of the most ultimate things that a human being can do. 
um, you know, what a piece of work is man, how noble in reason, how infinite in faculties and uh, song and movement, how express and admirable. Now that's Shakespeare, people. That's not me. Anyway, uh, that's uh, from the from the the movie uh, in musical Hair. I memorized it years ago. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, we we human beings have uh, our little walking brains. We are. Um, amazing uh, creatures in the universe, and we do a lot of crappy things on on this planet, and uh, then then we do unbelievable things. I once heard Yehudi Menuhin uh, do some uh, you know violin uh, 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 you know concertos and uh, at at the Opera House in Chicago, and uh, uh, it, it it was uh, it was it was like a in a religious experience, but you know what? All art, you know, when it when it comes from deep deep down in the soul, uh, it, uh, it it it's 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 very it's it's the pinnacle. It's the pinnacle um, uh, of existence, uh, as far as we know, in this this dimension, these three dimensions that we are on this planet. Um, hearing about people saying that there are other dimensions, that are, there are UFOs, there's all kinds of crazy stuff, but uh, in our limited world, we human beings, you know, um, art, art is, art is the pinnacle. Um, we, we, we toil for our daily bread and, um, you know, it ain't fun, you know, and we get a little time outside of all of our obligations and what do we do? What do we do? Hopefully we make good of it because, uh, you know, we ain't here that long and, uh, each one of us on this planet, um, some people think, you know, we live long, you know, multiple lives and stuff. I'm not sure about that, people. <laughs> Don't count on it. But, um, so, um, you know, I think the best way, I mean, one of the best ways to make good on it is to do art. And, um, so, uh, that's, that's what I did. That's what I did. Um, and, um, in some ways... Since I discovered painting, and it all started when I bought myself a box full of acrylic paints to set in my drawer uh, for about three or four months, maybe longer, before I had the guts to pull it out because this was like a, this was a year ago, and and I'm uh, going to turn sixty now this year, and so you know many many years have gone by uh, where I have not done art. Period. I never thought of myself as an artist. My, I come from a family of many, many, uh, you know, of, of brilliant artists. Um, my father, my sister, and um, I was never thought to have any talent in there because I couldn't really draw objects. But um, I did, I think, uh, inherit my mother's sense of color. Um, my mother has an extraordinary sense of color. I think I kind of have that. And... Um, God bless. I mean, uh, you know, I I uh, hate to say, it, but I do feel sorry for people who are colorblind. But uh, all of these, okay, we saw a general flip now, right? And this is my art journal. Um, I'm going to go back if you want to stick with me. Uh, where are we here? We're at um, a little further than halfway done. I I think I'm just going to feature a few things, mostly from the beginning, because that's where the best ones are. I tend to put the best ones at the beginning. Um, oh, this one's kind of nice. What's it doing in the back? Okay. So, um, let's go back to the front. And some of these really, really are lovely. Um, uh, you know, with the jelly plate, let's talk about the jelly plate. Um, if you're not familiar with it, again, just, 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 you know, I don't want to tell you to stop this video, but very soon, um, if not immediately, go to Jelly Arts um, YouTube channel and just watch all the videos. And these are tutorials, and they give you millions of techniques, and you're on your, you're on your way, boy. Uh, you get yourself a little jelly plate, and well, I got one uh, that is. Um, uh, that is, uh, three by five, three by five people. 
And uh, let me just see if I can't get my hands on that damn thing. Um, three by five jelly plate. Um, that is um, is the smallest jelly plate. Now people can make their own jelly plate, and uh, don't tell anybody, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make my own jelly plate very very soon. Um, and um, but let me just tell you that what it is is a silicone or sort of like a, a kind of a rub, very rubbery, rubbery slab, about three eighths of an inch thick, no more than half an inch thick. And then what you do is you you just roll on with a brayer. This is a very small. This is a two inch brayer. Um, you you roll on with a brayer. Uh, a very thin coat of paint, and it must be water-based, and must be acrylic paints. Again, I've mentioned before, use the cheapest paints from Michaels or wherever you go. And uh, the cheapest paints are, you know, you don't want any kind of thick, uh, thick, uh, viscous uh, uh, paints. Those are the expensive ones. You don't want them. You want cheap paints. You want somewhat watery paints. And these cheap paints from Michaels that you can get a super sale, always get the sales. Um, you, you can, uh, they tend to be very bright colors, <laughs> which is a good thing. You, you have to avoid making the colors muddy. I found that I love to put on, I love, okay, the second thing is construction paper. That's my other trick. Um, these cheap acrylic paints on construction paper dry almost immediately because it's mostly absorption. That's how they dry, absorption. There's two types of way that paint or ink dries on paper. It's absorption or it's evaporation. In this case, it's almost all absorption. Um, so you can do your multiple layers very quickly because the drying takes place so fast. Now this one, I just want to say, there is a technique at the Jelly Arts where you take like a piece of um, cardstock and you cut it with pinking shears and then you drag that um, that edge across the jelly paint that you have just used the brayer on and you have thinned out that paint to just absolutely thinnest um, amount of paint. So there's very little waste with the jelly plate. I love it. You don't have to use your heat gun. Here's just plain old stenciling with a cosmetic sponge. So I didn't use the jelly there, but um, maybe use the jelly underneath, but then I used, uh, again, stenciling. Um, you can use stenciling on the, the jelly plate. You can see that at Jelly Arts. I used a cookie cutter here. That's my own idea, and I just pasted that little piece to some uh, pattern paper. Um, so we got stenciling, jelly. We got this one. Wow, look at those colors. Uh, I feel like patenting that, that combination of <laughs> I feel like trademarking it or something. <laughs> I'm going to use that combo again. Woo! Um, here again, I, I pasted some of this to a um, some pattern paper. Um, and stenciling. Stenciling. Uh, jelly plate. This one. Wow. It's another one. I should patent the color combo. Crazy hearts. Okay. So what you basically do is you get a very thin layer of paint on your rubbery slab, your jelly plate. And uh, this color combo is awesome. And then I put it on some batter and paper. Um, here, we did that technique where you take uh, a rough edge of a just a piece of cardboard and roll it, you know, just scrape it right against that thin layer of paint on the, the your your rubber slab that you put down with a rubber brayer, and it's so thin, and then the paint, there's nothing, you know, it's such so thin, it's easy to, that this is what I would consider marring the surface. So then you you put your your page down, and you pull up, 
print. It's a mono print. You only get one chance to make that print and never again. Um, so all of these are originals. Um, there's nothing else like it. So there's certain niceness to that. This color combination needs to be patented. Ha! Ah! Um, and then this one was just plain stenciling of stars. Great color combo. Color combo, simplicity, nothing like simplicity for a modern look. I don't always like modern, but these look nice. These look nice. This is just some crappy old latex wall paint that I put some designs in the jelly plate. So, uh, here, sometimes I, I believe in this case, I don't know what happened there. Interesting, very kind of subtle, subdued colors on the black. I don't know, it seems like the best ones are in the black paper. Wow, and I, case in point. Okay, um just a little jelly plate of pink and then I took a cosmetic sponge in the shape cut out as a heart dipped it in some paint boom um, just crazy I mean you just throw down the paint um, this but don't like that so well okay um, this you know you create with um, cosmetic sponge through the stencil You've got Again, all I had was a 3 5 by 5 jelly plate. Here's the technique they show you at Jelly Arts. You put down your, your paint on your jelly plate, and then you take something like a cap, and, and you, you make circles. And then you pull your proof, pull your print. And then I used um, pattern paper in some cases, just to jazz it up a bit. And I can carry this around, and I can show people, and people can get excited about it. And I don't know. Woo! Boy, now those colors knock my socks off. Just knock my socks off. Yeah. Okay, stenciling, stenciling. Uh, jelly plate stenciling. you got to see the techniques. Here I just put these design in the jelly plate. Put the paint down, jelly plate. Used pink. Wow, great color combo. Okay, uh, again, just take a piece of cardboard, um, cut with pinking shears, do that with the, the paint. <clears throat> so, da -da 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 -da. Okay, wow, some butterflies that I had in the stencil. Heart motif, some bright, crazy colors. This is just uh, the core of uh, tape, just a big two-inch kind of uh, duct tape. It was uh, at the end, uh, tape was gone, so I just took the core and uh, made, um, this is, I used basically as a stamp. So you can do different things. This is very, this is minimalist. Uh, these colors just, ah, oh, I don't care for that one. Okay, this I don't like. Okay, so, colors, need to patent this red and that bright green like that. Oh, man. So, uh, this is kind of unusual, kind of, you can, you can just go crazy, man. And, uh, you know, there's no, it, it, it's no big deal if, your the outcome isn't good, you know. So just remember that. Here I just this is this looks pretty crappy, but you know, I just went like that with I think a Q tip on the jelly plate. That's what I did. Um this one, eh, you can kinda have it. But you know, so there's some rejects here, they maybe should be taken out. And um I better this is about it. I better get going. Um all right, we're getting up there. Oh, probably took too long. Uh, okay, so we're going to wrap that up, literally. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Craft and Commentary. And uh, take care, everyone. Thumbs up. 
Tell your friends, subscribe, comment, make comments. I want to hear what you got to say. What have you been doing lately? Uh, take care.